confident in both guys. You know, I see the way they work. And, uh, you know, I thought we got off to a, a decent start in the first quarter. And then I want to take a look at what, what happened in the second. You know, I, I thought we, you, you know, we, we didn't close the second the way we would have liked. And that, that set us back and that gave them confidence and uh, sort of changed the game there. So, uh, you know, we have to fix that. Ian Bagley. Tom, um, outside of that second half game too, it seems like Julius has been struggling. Why do you think, you know, we haven't seen the same Julius in the postseason yet that we saw in the regular season? Well, they're loaded up on him pretty good. So uh, when when a team does that, when they put two and three guys on you, you got you, you got to make the play, and either you got to get easy buckets, you know, transition, or off drive and kick, and you got to keep moving around. And so, uh, you know, and he's seen a lot of that this year, but uh, you, when you have a second and then the third guy, uh, you know, that can make it tough, but that should lead to the offensive rebounding. It should lead to the open threes on the backside. So uh, we got to trust the pass. Mark Berman. Hey, Tom, what finally led you to start Derek and do you feel that at least worked out? Well, uh, you know, the thing is, is he's been playing basically starter minutes for a while. So I, I think the, the big thing was the start of the games, trying to get off to a good start, particularly on the road. Uh, but then, you know, then we had the problem in the second quarter. So we got to take a look at that. Steve Popper. Tom, some of the things you talked about before the game we, with Derek inserted in there about how he open, can open things up maybe for Julius and stuff, it looked like he did some of that, but you guys still didn't convert. Did you feel like he, he did the things he needed to do? Yeah, and it's not just him. It doesn't fall on just one guy. You know, it, it falls on, you know, we have a number of guys that can make plays, uh, but any time the second defender comes, it's usually not the first pass, it's the second pass that it's going to get you the wide open shot. And so we can't hold on to the ball. We can't allow the clock to run down. Um, we got to make quicker decisions. We got to move. Uh, and then we got to play with intensity. I thought our defense in game two was vital because it got us into the open floor, got us some easy buckets. And I didn't think we ever really got our defense going in this game. And uh, we have to understand, you know, the intensity we have to bring to each game. Steph Bondi. Hey, Tom. Um, you know, you and Julius have said there's been no defense that uh, he hasn't seen yet. Um, and he's been, you know, he's been able to respond to a lot of those defenses a lot better than this. Why, why has he been unable to crack what Atlanta's been doing? Well, that, like I said, they're, they're loaded up pretty good. It's not just the second guy. It's the third guy also. And so, uh, and, and when that happens, he, Again, the, the big thing is to get rid of the ball and make the plays early, you know, and, and when you do that and, you know, usually you can get really high percentage shots off of that. And, you know, with your primary scores, you know, you that's what you want. When you get the second defender on the ball, uh, their responsibility is to get rid of it, to, to make plays for their teammates, because anytime you have two on the ball, that means you have an advantage on the backside. Uh, and whether that's a wide open shot, a drive, or the second shot, there are a lot of good things that come off of that. Mike Borkinoff. Tom, uh, they're, they're three point shooting tonight, you know, 59%. Um, why do you think they had that kind of success? Was it uh, just hitting shots or was it the way that Trey was kind of creating? Open yeah, the compilation, Mike. I think that the ball got into the paint. I thought, I thought they, they made a second penetration, I thought they shared the ball well. Uh, you know, I want to take a look at, you know, the, the execution of, of what we were trying to do. Uh, we allowed that first pass out pretty quick. So, you know, we got to take a look at that as well. Last question, Chris Herring. Hey, Tom. I, I guess I wanted to ask you, you kind of alluded to it a little bit with just the decision on Derek and, and kind of how making him available so early to start a game, obviously, 
um, that that pays dividends, but at the same time, it kind of makes stuff a little bit more difficult with the second quarter. You, you guys, I think, got more out of your offense than really anybody expected. The team on some levels had a season that very few people expected. Is it, do you feel like in some ways you kind of have to, you're squeezing as much as you possibly can out of the team and kind of where is the team ceiling relative to kind of what you guys have done? I'm sure you feel like you can get more out of Julius and RJ with different looks and stuff. Yeah, and I trust that we will. And I see the way these guys work every day and I see how they approach things. And their, their attitude is very upbeat and their work ethic is second to none. Um, so we'll, we're disappointed, obviously, in the way we played. And we'll take a good hard look at it and come back with more determination in the next game. And, you know, we have great belief in each other. Like the, our bench is, is, is very good. Uh, so but, but they went through an adjustment in this game also. So we have to settle, settle that down and uh, hopefully we'll play better on Sunday. Julius, how would you assess kind of what you saw out there tonight from you guys and just from yourself? Uh, we just had one bad stretch in the second quarter uh, about five, six minutes ago, and that was the difference of the game. Mark Berman. I guess, you know, this uh, was the most hostile crowd you've faced all year. Do um, you feel you guys didn't adjust to uh, playing on the road against, a, you know, close to a, a packed house? No, I don't think we're really worried about the crowd. Uh, just worried about what's going on on the court. Uh, how do we adjust and get wins? Uh, we didn't do that today, so we got to do it next game. Hey, Korkanoff. Uh, Julius, you and, and both Tibbs have been saying that you've seen these defenses before all season long. I mean, is there anything that the Hawks are doing differently? And, and if not, then why do you think the results are different this time around? Uh, we just got to adjust. We just got to adjust. Um, and we will. So uh, I'll just leave it at that. Steph Bondi. Hey, Julius, um, when they're loading up, how much of it is on you to get rid of the ball faster um, or, or make the quicker play? Uh, yeah, it's on me, but, um, it's on me. I just gotta, I gotta find a way to read, read the outlets a little bit better. Steve Popper. So you guys shuffled the lineup today. Derek, obviously offensively became a big, what kind of difference did it make having him there? Did that help at all with you? Uh, yeah, good game. You know, he's uh, tough on the pick and roll. Uh, was able to get downhill, um, and attack, so. Um, it's definitely a threat, uh, obviously. Um, and you know, it's up to me, other guys, we all got to play better, so. Last question, Bobby Childs. Julia, Julius, back to the second quarter, what did you see there? Was it more on the offensive side for you guys or defensive side that, that allowed him to get that run? I think a little bit of both. Uh, offense got a little stagnant. Um, you know, long rebounds, uh, turnovers a little bit, and uh, they were able to get out, hit a couple threes, they busted the game open. Thank you, Julie. Uh, yeah, hey, Jack. Uh, just you got the start tonight. Uh, when did you know you were starting, and how did you think that all worked out? Um, I found out uh, this morning at walkthrough, and uh, yeah, uh, I found out this morning and um, just had to get prepared for it and get right. And um, yeah, that, that was about it. Ian Bagley. Derek, what do you think uh, hurt you guys this tonight in Atlanta? I mean, it seemed like defensively, uh, they got it going from three. How did you see it? Uh, the second quarter, I think that um, uh, but we're not making shots. Uh, we still got to find a way and um, to play with that consistent like urgency and um, that effort. Uh, they did a great job with finding guys um, on the second pass. Hockey assists, if it wasn't the second pass, they were uh, – driving the ball on, on the second pass and just creating havoc 
and uh, we just gotta make an adjustment. Steve Popper. Hey Derek, Tom was saying in that vein on defense that uh, maybe guys were not, the intensity was not where it needs to be. Did you feel that today that maybe, whether it was the crowd, whatever it was, that you guys didn't seem up to that today? Yeah, uh, it was the second quarter, I think. Um, the first quarter, uh, we kind of played de um, decent. Um, the second quarter, that's when everything um, uh, kind of fell apart and they, got, they gained confidence. And uh, it, it was around the time that we wasn't making shots. I think they outscored us 20, 20-something. 20 uh, high 20 somethings to uh, like 12 or 13 or something like that. And uh, we just got to find a way to um, um, just grind it out when we're not making shots. Uh, we can't, like I said, we can't have to play lots of days ago on the, on the defensive end if um, we know that uh, we're not getting easy baskets. Um, do anybody know how many fast break points we had today? Zero. 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 Oh, we had zero. So yeah, I um, mean, in the playoff games, you in these playoff games, we got to find ways to get an easy basket. And tonight they did a great job with um, um, getting back. And I think that we didn't look to push the ball in the open court enough, especially when it was misses. Steph Bondi. Hey Derek, all season you guys have been relying on uh, Julius and RJ kind of as your one-two punch, um, but they've, you know, it hasn't been the case in the playoffs so far. What do you see there? Why why isn't it happening the way it's um, it did in the regular season for those two? Uh, you know, I really can't put a finger on it, bro. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're doubling from weird spots. Um, they're coming from Sometimes the top, sometimes mostly baseline, but if they make a move towards the top, their guys are um, doing a good job of just being in right there uh, or just making sure they don't get a clean lane or a clean look. And um, that's what I mean, fast break points. Like uh, when you know that um, teams are keying in on you like that, we got to find ways to get you or get them to easy baskets or anybody easy baskets. Um, and you get it mostly in the open court um, when the defense isn't set and um, when they don't have their, when they're not locked in on you like the way they've been. Big working off. Derek, uh, you guys have tried, it seems like a, a bunch of different coverages and pick and roll defenses against Trey. And, and today it seemed like he even didn't even wait for the screen to come. Uh, is there anything else that you guys could try to try to slow him down? And just what have you thought of the way he's played? Oh, he's been playing great, um, but no, we, I, I think we got um, a few more coverages, but um, they were just knocking down shots. I think they shot, they had, by halftime, they was 50%. Uh, we wasn't talking, um, we wasn't making a sec second, or I wasn't, I know a few times I didn't make the second or third effort um, to contest shots. And if you're not making them plays um, with a shooting team like this, there's no way you're going to win games. So. Last question, Jamie Harris. Um, Derek, you've seen Julius play with so much confidence this season, um, but do you sense him being a little hesitant and losing confidence in his remember the shot? I wouldn't say that. It's just that he um, got to make smart decisions. Like right now, um, he's getting off the ball early. I think throughout the game, he has to um, pick, pick and choose when to um, pick his spots. And like I said, it goes back to getting out early. We have to get out early so that he can um, get lost um, within the game and they don't have all the eyes on them when we're in the half court. So we got to find easy, easy ways to get them baskets or good looks. Thank you, Derek. Hey, Barrett's here. If you have a question, raise your hand and I'll mute you. Mike Workinoff. Um, RJ, you, you guys shot 36.7% from the floor tonight, and it seems like the Hawks defense has been overloading, and Julius especially all series. Is there anything you guys you think you can do adjustments-wise to create easier shots for yourselves? 
Um, honestly, just, you know, driving kicks, just continue to do that. I think we also are getting a lot of good shots. Uh, I know I'm getting a lot of good shots, a lot of wide open threes that I need to make. Um, yeah, that's about it. Ian Bagley. For, I mean, RJ, for you, is it just a matter of, of, of missing open looks or is, is there something that Landon's doing to slow you down or what are you seeing out there from yourself? I'll see it. I'm open. It's got to make it. Steve Popper. RJ, on the other end, Tom was saying he thought maybe in that second quarter, especially maybe the intensity defensively kind of lagged a little. Do you guys think the shooting troubles maybe got guys frustrated or something? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Uh, I think, you know, it was like a it was like a tie game with like I don't know five minutes left in the second, and then they kind of went on a run. I mean, runs happen. Um, you know, we just we can't let them do that. You know, we gotta continue to fight, and um, there's no way they should be, you know, uh, going on a crazy run like that, scoring that many points. Mark Berman. Hey, RJ. Yeah, they really showed their three-point shooting tonight. I mean, how difficult was it? Was it defense or they were just making great shots? And what's the mood of the team right now? This was kind of a blowout uh, for, for the second half. And they, they made shots. We didn't. They won the game. Steph Bondi. Hey, RJ, the, the playoffs here are, you know, not only the the intensity ratchets it up because of the postseason, but now all of a sudden there's a crowd, whereas there wasn't before. How much does shot making have to do with pressure and, and being able to handle that? I don't know. Uh, I mean, a crowd's a crowd. You know, we play basketball. We've been doing this since we were kids. A crowd is not. A crowd's not going to stop us from, from playing basketball. Uh, you know, we'll just we'll come back next game. You know, we'll be ready. Last question, Tom Marion. RJ, how much of an adjustment was it to have a new starting lineup tonight? Sorry, I didn't really hear that. How much of an adjustment was it to have a new starting lineup tonight? To have who? Um, how much of an adjustment was it to have a different starting lineup? Was it a different starting lineup? Uh, <clears throat> I think we actually we started the game out pretty good. I mean, we had a good first quarter. We were out at the end of the first quarter. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter. Whoever we have out on the court, you know, that's, what, that's, that's who it is. And, and we got to go with that. We got to trust coach. We got to trust each other. And just go out and execute. Thank you, RJ.